Okay, so here we have the Swati Saya. Yeah, it's a matte black. No fingerprints show up on it. Love this parachute wrap that they do. I mean, I haven't seen another sword company do this. And the, the Sageo on it is good quality, it looks like, too. But it... I mean, I wish more sword companies would try and do different things like that. But like I said, this is Sawadi's the only one that does it. And their sizes are good. Never had to shim it. I still haven't had to shim mine because this one is my wife's. The Hollow Dragon's hers. But I've used my other green one and it does great. I love the fact they round the end off on some too. So now we got the handle. There's the Fuchi. Nice, clean, and clear. This is all copper. But I love the wrap that they do on this. Uh, the Jabaraki, I think is how it's pronounced. It's basically six ropes. Three on one side, three on the other. And it's just like, the transitions are just perfect on this. There's no hot spots, no high points. It just works really good. Real Samigawa. And it's held up nice. Got this one last year. Even even the kosher in the back, it's all no high spots whatsoever. And from what I found out, this is a really hard um, eater wrap to do. It's not an easy one. You have to be experienced. And there's the Kashra. Like I said, it's dragon theme. And it's starting to Pantina naturally, which is... I like because it gives it more of that antique look. I mean, just look at that. Look how just uniformed it is. And you can tell that the Edo doesn't stick out far neither. These, these handles are so comfortable in the hands. It's unbelievable. And there's the Suba, and we're going to have another look at it here in a moment. But, I mean, you can just see the, the transition to the Fuchi there. There's no high spot. It's just, they do an awesome job. I haven't seen, again, no one do this. And there's the Suba. Like I said, it's starting to Pantene, so it's not that bright. Kind of like the antique look. Looks really good on these. But yeah, I wish more people would offer this Eater Wrap. Don't know how much it would cost. But, and now this one is available again from Sawadi on Amazon. The Hollow Dragon, which is cool. Um, there for a while it wasn't. But they brought it back, which is a good thing. Because this one's really nice. I love the blue color on this. And we're hoping to get uh, a few more of these. For sure. Now the blade. And the blade's held up nice. You can see it's got really nice polish. I was having issues with the lighting today for some reason. Maybe my background. Probably won't use that again. But you can see the polish is really good because you can see my camera in it. It's not a big deal. But it is differentially hardened. And uh, T10. So, and they do a good job on their T10 blades. For $175 without shipping or tax, you can't beat it. The only issue I have, we you can have with these is the cost could be a little loose. Because like I said, that rope wrap is a little hard to do. So just put a little glue on either side and you're good to go. But yeah, this blade is really great. I just, they just do such a good job. And they're not expensive to buy these. That's, that's the nice thing about them. Now we've got the Kisaki, which they did a good job on it. Really did. And this sword has held up over, you know, a span of a year and a few months. So I, I rave about Sawadi. So if you're looking to get one, give them a try. <laughs> 